Hey, what's going on? It's your boy. Back at you with another video, man. I'm sitting here chilling out. And I want to talk about, I, I think I did a video about this in a while, a while ago about Dame Lillard. And I want to talk about um, um, him talking on the um, JJ Reddit podcast. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I know a lot of people ain't going to like this. But, you know, excuse my French. Dame is foolish. Dame, Dame Lillard or Dame Dollar, Dame Lillard, whatever. This dude is full of shit. This dude does not want to win. He he want to he wanna throw rocks and then, then hide his hands. I feel like uh, this is not, this is going to be easy work. This dude is easy to point out. You know, he cries like a little girl talking about people being loyal. And let me tell you something, man. You were loyal to, to Portland for, what, 13 years in the NBA. Where has it gotten you? You got one, you went to one Western Conference Finals and got swept with a Warrior team that didn't even have KD. That was your perfect time to beat them. And you couldn't beat them? You got swept. You've been nothing but Steph Curry's and the Warriors crash dummy. You've been a, a playoff crash dummy your whole career. You've done absolutely nothing. And I feel like at this point, you're a great player. But you don't want to you don't want to move because you're comfortable. You're comfortable with losing. Because if you was tired of losing, you'd have been left Portland. The Portland Trailblazers don't give a damn about you. They don't give a fuck about you. Because if they gave a fuck about you, I'm just this coming from the heart. They would have gave they have given, gotten you more better players. What have they done for you your whole career? They've done nothing but but CJ McCullough? That's the only uh, Lamarcus Aldrich. Outside of that, you have really, uh, basically, you've had um, average players at best. This team is going nowhere. And you'll be home, and I guarantee you, you'll be home by the first round. Because you like, you like, you comfortable. Because you know it's no pressure. Because you go anywhere else. You you have to um you gonna have to perform, and you know with Portland, you'll get your little All Star games every year. You will um you you can jack up a hundred shots. You can play no defense, and and it's no pressure. Because if you was tired of getting your ass kicked in the playoffs, you'd have left. If you'd have went somewhere like Milwaukee, or Philadelphia, nobody would have called you a ring chaser. Nobody. Clyde, and I'm gonna give you an example. Clyde Drexler was at the same at the same stage as you right now. He was 32 years old. He knew in 1994-95 season, he knew that the Portland Trailblazers wasn't going anywhere. Portland, the Portland Trailblazers knew they were they was trying to rebuild. They was trying to get young. So they traded Clyde Drexler to the Houston Rockets, and they won an NBA championship. In 1995, swept the Orlando Magic. Nobody. And the thing is, where Dane Little got to understand, Clyde Drexler went to the Rockets. Nobody calls him a ring chaser. He knew he wasn't going to win anything in Portland. He's a Portland legend. They retired his number. He went to two finals. But he knew the writing was on the wall. And that's the problem with you, bro. You cry on these on these podcasts about being real. Where is being real got you? You know, people talk shit about LeBron and KD and people ring chasing. No, what I'm gonna sit in a situation where it's not going to work. It's not working, man. Why are you staying there? You know they're not going anywhere. You're just wasting your prime years. And you ain't tried to go try to do better? What have you done? You've done nothing. What have you done in your career? You know, it's just like, it's just crazy to me, man. It's crazy how 
He takes shots at Bron and KD, but he do it subliminal. You don't have to be subliminal about this, bro. You know you're not going nowhere. You know you're not going nowhere, man. You know they ain't talented. Portland Trailblazers ain't got no talent. They don't. Outside of you, what they have, what? What, Jeremy Grant? What, an average player? They trade away GP2? What he left you with? With nothing. And you cry on cry on it on, on, on these podcasts about being real, but where is being real getting you? You know, you might talk shit about KD and and, and um and LeBron. And I really really wasn't too crazy and too fond about those free agent moves they made to Miami and Golden State. But I give them credit. This is where I get I give KD respect. He wasn't scared to move. He took on the challenge. He stepped right on in and won two championships. LeBron did the same thing. LeBron, when they had Booby Gibson, when they had Mo Williams, um, uh, Sabonis, not Sabonis, um, Ilgoskis, um, Andy Virgil, Anthony Parker, an a old 38 year old uh, retirement, Shaquille O'Neal. He knew that team won't go nowhere. He knew it. So he swallowed his pride and went to Miami. Why don't you swallow your pride, Dame? And I'm making this video because I love you, man. You're my favorite player. You're one of my favorite players in the NBA. You, Steph, and Giannis is my three favorite players in the NBA. I want you to get a ring. But you're not winning a ring with Portland. So why keep crying? Why do you keep crying on these podcasts about being real? What, what are you being real to? You being real to an organization that ain't gave you shit? You wasting your prime years. You still got at least three more good prime seasons left in you. Why are you wasting your time? If you go somewhere else, nobody's going to call you a ring chaser. Because you're scared. Scared money don't make money. You, you comfortable in Portland? You comfortable being a first round exit? You comfortable not making the playoffs? And you in your 30s, you ain't getting no younger. And you crying all on JJ Reddit's podcast. Come on, Dame, stop crying. Stop hate. You to be honest, you sound like a hater. What player, what they supposed to do? What player, what they gonna do? Stay somewhere where they not winning. Be, and nobody wants to be like you. You loyal to one team. Done nothing. You ain't got off your ass and made no move to leave Portland. A, a shit show, a shit show organization. A joke organization. And you want to stay there? I don't understand, Dame. They don't have to keep throwing subliminal shots. You keep throwing subliminal shots. It's, it's crazy, man. This shit is crazy. They ain't really know he's not winning nothing in Portland. And I think he doesn't want to win. Because you think about the money. You know everybody in Portland going to kiss your ass. For, I don't understand what they're kissing your ass for. You're an all-star player. But you ain't done shit. Ivan was in the Portland comment section. And the dude said the same thing I said. When you lost that game to the, I remember that they lost that game to the Warriors too. And the dude said in the comment section that Dame Lillard is comfortable losing. He's comfortable jacking up shots. He's comfortable not playing no defense. He's comfortable. Being comfortable will have, that's like, I say it all the time. I know I'm getting off base, but niggas, it's so sad that niggas, niggas, is comfortable being broke. Niggas is comfortable not having shit. You got that nigga mentality, man. That you really not trying to win. You know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying? You really ain't trying to win. You just want to look good losing. Shout out to Fonte for that line. Fonte Coleman. Beast, beast on that mic too. That's all you are. Are you really trying to win or just want to look good losing? And you're doing a real good job being a loser. Because you ain't done shit your whole NBA career. Make a few all-star games. Hit a few lucky shots. You're, you're a very skilled basketball player. But in the playoffs, you, you it's like you you pull a you hold Houdini. You disappear. No, them Warriors series, you got your ass beat. You ain't trying to go go somewhere else. But you on 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 J on JJ Reddit's podcast and talk shit. The NBA ain't the same. You do a lot of talking. You do a lot of talking and ain't done nothing. The emptiest houses make, make the loudest echoes. You do a lot of talking, but you ain't saying. What are you saying? What are you saying? What is loyalty getting you? Portland has fucked you over. And you want to keep staying there? You bitched and cried last year about how, about how, how bad it was in Portland. On Instagram, you were crying, but you signed that two-year extension because you think about the money. Because you know, ain't no organization NBA stupid enough to pay you all that money. You know they not. You know you ain't trying to win, man. Who you fooling, Dame? Dame and lame rhyme. Because you just want to look good losing. You want to say, yeah, yeah. Like, he remind me, you know what Damon Lillard reminds me of? He remind me of a temporary service, right? Anybody went to a temporary service, right? That pay every day. And you got a dude out here. He's staying with a girl. He ain't got no job. And, you know, what he, he the kind of guy is that he come home. A girl going to ask him, did you put any applications today? Yeah, baby, I put in a thousand applications. And he probably went to his homeboy house. Or he went to a temporary service where they get paid every day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And he'll sit in there for a few hours. But he ain't really trying to go. He ain't really trying to go out. He just bullshitting and playing her. And that's what Dame Lillard is doing. He's literally bullshitting himself. You can bullshit everybody, but you can't bullshit me. You can't bullshit yourself. Because at the end of the day, you know Portland ain't going nowhere. Because you know you go somewhere like Golden State, the Lakers, uh, the Knicks, Philly. They're going to want you to perform. Milwaukee, they want championships. But you go somewhere where you comfortable losing. You just want to look good. You want to look like you're trying to do any, something. But you ain't trying to do nothing. You know you ain't. Ain't no loyalty. Okay, well, where's loyalty getting you? I've been loyal all my life. All I've been doing is getting fucked over. You got to be loyal to yourself. You don't owe Portland shit and Portland don't owe you shit. You don't like, I know you don't like going home. Because we all know by, by May, by May, you'll be back in the bay in the studio with Filthy Rich. You and Filthy Rich, I mean, make, make, y'all, y'all going to make an album in, in May, right? Shout out to Fil- Filthy Rich, uh, Bay Area legend. Um, you be, Yeah, you'll be in the studio with E-40. You'll be right back in the studio. Or with Jay Stalin, you'll be right back in the studio with... In the, in the, in the, in the, with, with Jay Stalin, you be in the studio with the mechanics. <laughs> you be in the studio by May. You be on care. You be Cancun. You and your wife and kids. Y'all be in Cancun somewhere on vacation. Year after year, ain't you tired of the same damn movie? Don't you want to try something new? Why you keep wasting your prime years? You be thirty three in, in August. Time for you to stop bullshitting. Get off your ass and go try to go make a move. They're not winning anything. 
I would like to see you play with Giannis. I think that would be a good fit. I like to see you play in Philly, but I don't think you they got Tyrese Maxey and James Harden. But I would like to see you go somewhere and get a ring. Because you're wasting your time in Portland. But you know what? I'm going to end it on this note. Dame ain't really trying to win. He just rather want to look good losing. That's all I got to say. That's it. I'm out.